hello, my name is Nick Cook. I'm a certified instructor at Golf Tech in Reno here. I'm a PJ apprentice. I've been teaching at Golf Tech here for just about two years. And we're going to be working with Lisa here today and we're going to be talking about connection. Now what connection is, is staying through the swing as we're coming down, keeping the arms and elbows staying together, not coming through and getting that getting that dreaded chicken wing that we always see out on the driving range, right? So talk about keeping the arms coming in, staying together, and then ultimately keeping the arms extended out a bit away from the body. Okay, Lisa, so let's take a look at this last swing and kind of take a look at what's going on here. So if we bring it up to the top of the swing, as we begin the downswing, we start to see the arms separate right here. So what we can see is this arm is how it's bending around instead of staying nice and straight for us, okay? Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up a LPGA Tour Pro here for you. So you can see here is we have Marissa is on the left, uh, LPGA Tour Professional, and we've got you over here on the right. So as she comes in the downswing here, you can see her right in impact. Now this is the position that we're ultimately looking for, is a nice straight, and what we call this is a connected straight front arm, okay? So if we draw a line here, is how we like to illustrate it is how we can see the gap in between here on your elbows on how they're bent out to where we can see they're going to be much closer here. See here, what this is going to produce by keeping your arms straight is not only are you going to get more consistency out of your golf shots, mm -hmm. but by coming through impact, you can see how her arms extend out, you're also going to be gaining distance. Nice. Okay, so the training aid that we're going to be using today is just going to be a belt, okay? And what you can do is why the belt works so well is because it can work for so many different types of people. Now, if you're going to be a, uh, a lady with smaller shoulders, such as Lisa for today, we're going to have it on the last belt loop, but this can also work for, uh, you know, for the husband who's going to have some wider shoulders. You just loosen up the uh, belt loop there, okay? So go ahead and stick your right arm through there. What we'll do is we're going to turn it so we see the X and then stick the arm through. And then so where it is, so it's, we've got the elbows here, it's just above the elbows. And then what that'll do is that's going to prevent her from going out and keeps everything tucked in. So what this is going to do is this is going to pre prevent her from going like this. Okay, so down through impact when her elbow wants to go like that, this belt is going to stay wrapped around just above the elbows to keep it uh, connected. Okay, Lisa, so here's the ball and let's go ahead and take a swing with the belt on your arms here. Okay, Lisa, so let's take a look here. What I've done is I've brought up your first swing that you took in here today and the swing with the belt training aid on, okay? So let's take both of these swings up to the top here. So here's our before and as we were coming down we can see how the elbow is starting to bend around here and poke out there. So let's see what it looks like with the training aid on now. And again, what this training aid is meant to do is to prevent your arms from bending out there. So we can see here, now we're getting this beautiful straight front arm position. And how I like to illustrate it again is drawing a line from elbow to elbow here. And then we can see from elbow to elbow. So. Again, so this is what we call staying more connected. Okay, Lisa, so if we can take a look here, what we have here is your before swing is on the left and your after swing is on the right hand side. If we look here on the left, we can see as you're coming down, the elbow starts to bend out and starts to bring in your hands real close to your body through impact. So if we look at that in comparison to your after swing, we can see what the belt is doing is it's actually holding those elbows in, making it so we can't bend them out so you're staying more connected over here. So let's watch it. So when it comes down to impact, the left arm is going to stay straighter and also through impact, you're going to be getting your arms because this arm can't bend, now the arm is going to be further out away from your body, which is going to generate more club head speed, which will transfer into more distance. Okay, so we're wrapping it up today and what we talked about today was how you can use a belt to stay more connected and create more consistency and more power in your golf swing. So once again, my name is Nick Cook. 
certified instructor, PJ Apprentice with Golf Tech Reno. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next week.